This is the end of the road constructed by executive members of Afakuda Community Development Association. But it isn't the end of their community activism despite their old age. Afakuda is the acronym of the three major streets Aruna, Fawawe, and Aganga Williams, which make up the Community Development Association. Located in Ifako Ijai, local government area of Lagos State, it has a brilliant record of self-help projects. The name came about because uh, we were thinking of the name. So we said it would be better for us not to personalize it and make it a little bit uh, national. So that was why we decided that uh, if you coin the names of those three streets and uh, everything worked out, you know, the way we wanted it. Because we have Ibos, we have Yorubas, we have uh, some other northerners, you know, who, are, who have buildings around this area. And uh, we are lucky. It's just as if God himself has decided to put all of us together here. Because we seem to understand ourselves so much. To the founding fathers of this CDA, the community is built on trust, unity and most important, provision of self-help projects. But how exactly did this agitation for a better community start? We started with the transformer. Because this place used to be in total darkness. So we, we Nepal assisted us as well. But we made a lot of contribution ourselves you know, to make sure we have in that transformer there. The converts, because there was a gap between Aganga and Fowe. And you know, this place is more or less a getaway road for people living from Obawole. Uh, Iju, uh, whenever they are sold up at uh, Aruna or College Road, they take this area. So we decided that it is better for us to have a cover there so as to ease the traffic problem around this area. And we consulted that. Then uh, we decided to tie some roads. Because if we go to Aganga, last year we were able to construct that road and the Lagos State Government was kind enough to give us an award. Community development doesn't mean that you just sit down, collect a fee from people and uh, spend the money like that. We sit down, we say, ah, what can we do? We decided that Aganga Street there is bad. It's not motorable. We now decided that it's something we can do. Then we called contractor in. That's how we started it. Then we did it with collective of both the tenants and the landlords. We could achieve that. I think the government see that in us. They now send for us, send for us that. Thank you very much for what he did. Because we believe that the government cannot do it alone. We have to join hands with them. The project attracted more people, causing the population to swell to close to half a million. There were many good people who migrated into the community. As usual, there were also undesirable elements who became threats to the security of residents. The community was faced with no other choice than to mobilize to defend itself. The result is this police post. This police post, we did it just for our own security and at the same time to help the community around this area. Because it is the police station that serves up as far as uh, Obawole and some other area, you know. And it was built for my own sweat and uh, we are happy again that government has been so kind to us. So, and since then, we have I'll be carrying out the renovations every other year. We have spent almost 1.5 million from our own contribution because we believe we must assist Ambo's government when it comes to security. The police force is helping us a lot. It's helping us. And uh, we want the government to help us to let this police force to be up to date. Because they usually put ladies there. You know, ladies cannot do night work. We need men, policemen, to be doing night work here. And the radio that we get here for any emergency something, it has spoiled. We need the government to help us to repair the thing. According to the officer in charge of the police post who spoke to Lagos Community Updates off camera, the determination and selflessness of the CDA executive is worthy of emulation and the Nigerian police force is extremely happy.
to add more value, the community raised more funds for electricity. For Wawa Street hosts the base for electrification in Afakuda with the presence of the electrical power transformer. Aganga William Street is where two other major projects are located, the culverts and the 500 meter long road fully tarred by the community. A walk through the street revealed the appreciation of the efforts of the CDA members by residents. The time I come here, this road, if you rain down for even the best way, the walk out with your leg, you know, if you pass, you understand. Motor say if they pass sometime, then they park up for that walk, so then if you come down. So later, I went and tie the road. Me, myself, I went and tie the road, I like all of that. So the team can be okay. So if you this road down for again, some all this landlord, then they try to tie the the fascia and the duan because they don't like I make it in this summer. Between 1992 and 1994, Afakura community members witnessed the best experience in their lives as they received the then number one citizen of the state, former military governor Olagun Soye Oinlola, who came to commission the police posts. Today, their prayer is for the incumbent governor, Mr. Akimu Mihambode, to repeat the feat by commissioning the primary health care center they are mobilizing resources to build. I was there, I was one of the people that shook his hand that day, you know, and all of us were proud of it. You know, I felt elated and I felt proud because, as I've told you, nobody will come from Ikoi or Victoria Island to come and assist you to develop your area. You have to. Make the effort to develop the area yourself. Everybody was happy in this area for a old governor to come to our area. You see, this place was like a market that day. All the communities in Lagos were here. To achieve this, they are calling on corporate organizations and philanthropists in Lagos states to come to their aid. I want them to help us so that we can have maternity center in our area here. Anything you do that really to enhance the, the living standard of the people surrounding your organization, you are not only doing it for that, uh, the people, you are even elongating the life of your company as well. So my advice to them is that they should please join us with Ambo, Governor Ambode. For now, Afakuda community awaits partners to actualize its dreams so that the Governor Ambode can honor them by commissioning another landmark project. On behalf of the Afakuda Community Development Association, we are thanking the Lagos State Government for this new innovation, because this will go a long way. Because whenever you are doing this thing, I'm sure the Governor one day might even be sitting in the city room to look at it. They will now say, ah, ah that's Afakuda, that road there. He will call his commissioner and say, please, can you help us to go and do that place for these people? That is, is going to send direct message to him. For all those areas he, he cannot visit himself. He will see them on the TV and, uh, you know, and he will take note and uh, the development will continue. So we sincerely thank him and anybody that is behind this uh, project.